Hey guys and girls from the interwebs, my name's Ian. And my name's Lindsay. And welcome to Ballroom, Ballroom Blitz. Blitz. Hello Ballroom Blitzers, welcome back to a Latin-esque Ballroom Blitz. Today we're going to be hitting up some rumba. We're going to be doing two figures. We've already done these figures in cha-cha, so we're going to be covering both of them in rumba. They're almost the same, and we're going to be giving you some alternate things to think about to spice them up. We're going to be handling hand-to-hands with an alternate position and shoulder-to-shoulders with a developed Dancing. position as well. We'll leave links below for all the char versions for the basics, and we're going to hit you up with all the advanced versions. So let's have a look. So as you can see from the demonstrations, super easy upgrades and variations of two super basic moves. Of course, we've removed the cha-cha chasse as we have shown in the cha videos. So that of course converts it to a rumba. And some of you are looking at those variations going, well, I do those all the time, like what's the big deal? But some of you out there are saying, oh, I didn't know we could do that. Let's give it a go. So first of all, all of your basic char moves, or I should say most of your basic char moves, cross from char to rumba and back just by adding or removing the chasse. So if you've done shoulder to shoulders, it's the same in rumba. Uh, if you've done hand to hands, it's the same in rumba as it is in char. And we'll leave some links in the description to revise that if it's new for you. But here we're going to do the hand to hands basically with the arms on the back rather than holding the hand. This gives it a little bit of a new dimension and it can be uh, a little bit more intimate. It can make it a bit closer on a busy social floor and it just gives you a, a different appearing move which is basically the same on your footwork. It also enables you to move into it from a particular side that I think a lot of people tend not to do on the social floor if we're just using the original uh, sort of hand to hand type hold. Next, the shoulder to shoulders with the two hands up is the sort of, I guess, upgraded or developed version. I think most people are dancing that anyway. It is slightly weaker because we don't have as much of a hold on our follower, uh, but it looks quite specky and it is really easy. But what we're going to give you is the reverse option of those where the leader actually steps backwards and the follow steps forwards rather than just the uh, leader always going forward version which is the one that tends to get used and that way you just get turned around and again you get a little bit more bang for your buck and we're going to have a look at how you can move between those uh, without having to stop and turn and restart again and things like that. So we're going to upgrade a few of the easy versions, put it into rumba by removing the chasse and you'll be good to go with a number of different options and a bit of variety for your social rumba and your social cha-cha because some of these will of course cross back into your cha-cha. So let's break it down and have a look at the leader steps for the, let's do hand to hands first. Okay leaders, so we're going to do your steps and draw it out of the hat, we're going to do the hand to hands. Footwork for this variation is the same, we're not changing what the move is, we're just uh, changing it of course from what we've done in cha to rumba. So we're going to have our stepping back full weight two, rocking step three, and then we're going to return four one instead of our four and one for our cha-cha, and we can do the same on the opposite foot and settling back. And what we have done is had this sort of open uh, two-handed hold and we have exchanged hands along the way. A simple, nice, neat and easy upgrade to this uh, is basically not having the hands being held like so out to the side, uh, but you keep this hand on the back and we step back and have this around the follows shoulder blade. This, everything below the hip stays exactly the same. You get a little bit closer to your partner so it's good for when you have not as much space. It's also nice for when you're in a closed hold and you want to go into hand to hands, you don't have to shunt this hand down and do anything like that. You hold it in its natural position for our loose uh, closed hold and we step back and voila, it's already there. 
So that's really a nice, simple upgrade for it. Some people will call this a back-to-back. -back. I really don't like that name because it gives you images of trying to get back-to-back -back and it, it's not really what you're trying to do. Uh, but that might be a bit of translation if you have heard that term. And if you're using that term, please stop. So. All we're going to do with a hand-to-hand, -hand, instead of holding down here, same footwork, removing the cha-cha chasse from the char video, holding our arm up. Usually it is most comfortable for the follower to slip their arm over the leaders, but if there's a big height difference, you might have other arrangements. Stepping around, doing the same hand-to-hand uh, -hand footwork, your free arm can style up or down as you like, and operating about that just under shoulder level keeping the arm on the back. So a nice simple upgrade for your easy hand-to-hands. So followers, this is actually a really nice uh, lead into this move because we don't really need to change our arm work here. We'll feel a little bit of pressure through the leader's hand here to open us up, but they'll keep their hand on our shoulder blade, encouraging us to keep our hands up nearer the shoulders here at the top of the arm, or you might find it sort of slipping around uh, behind the shoulders as we're opening up, whatever is comfortable. But that's a nice supportive hold that we've got here. We can use our arm and hand to support ourselves and we've got the leader's arm supporting us as well. And we are just matching in with our uh, footwork here, exactly the same as our hand-to-hands where we're going back, rock, side to transition, back, rock, side, and we're nice and supportive or supported all the way. Now, if you do want to transition between the two holds, you can start in one and the other. So as Lindsay said, this is a nice supported sort of position. If you get to here and think, oh, geez, that's, that's a bit too, too something I don't really know, and you feel more comfortable offering the hand, we can take it palm up and keep doing the exact same move and transition into your hand to hand and also on the way back by reaching. So you don't have to pick just one or the other, you can try it out, slip between them uh, and that gives you a bit more variety and sometimes a bit of an easier lead uh, between figures as well. Next up we have the shoulder to shoulder move. Now in the basic video that we did in the cha-cha, we just kept our nice closed position with our follower. We turned a little bit up to that eighth to step outside. And then of course it was a char video, so we were chasseing either side. And that's pretty much all we did. A lot of people will enter this from a turn rather than from basic. So if they've done some sort of turning figure, they're already putting this hand up and enter it, entering it from this sort of two-handed raised position and stepping outside uh, and either charring or rumbering to change sides. That's really what we're doing, but because most people that we see are doing that anyway and that's not really a big upgrade, I guess the only thing we'll say about it is if you are doing that, try not to move your arms too much. That's where a lot of people will fall down. The two hand up uh, position looks kind of cool uh, and it's a fun one to dance, but it is weaker because we don't have as much of a, a hold of our partner. So if we have a bit of noodle arms, then sometimes we can get a little bit unruly and the signals get missed between uh, our partner and our, well, our leader and our follower. So if we hold those in position a little bit more strongly and say that, okay, we understand that we have two an hands up and our legs are the same, once we get a little bit more rigidity without being too muscle man up top, we can now transition from the leader always going forward to the leader going backward as well. So if I step outside of my partner here, two, three, and in a rumba, if we have our four one, the basic version, I would turn about a quarter over my four one, step outside this way forward, rock, and these would be our shoulder to shoulders. That's completely fine, but leads you might want a bit of variety. So all I need to do here is recognize that I'm already on the proper angle here for my follower to step outside. So as I do my rock back, I maintain that position. But now as I do my full one, I'm just taking a side step without rotating my body at all. And this will work if we have a nice solid frame, uh, if it's a bit too spongy or if the follower's a little bit sort of noodle armed as well, then we might not quite quite get that message across, but that's as simple as it is. The hardest part is making sure that we communicate nice and properly, because now all I'm going to do is step back. I've 
almost assumed what I was putting my follower through. We've almost exchanged roles, if you want to think of it like that. So I step back, I rock forward, and now on the side step, if I do my quarter turn, I'm stepping back again. And we can do that as many times as we like. And if I want to get out of that, I just choose not to uh, take that quarter turn. So as long as we have a nice strong frame up top, not too strong of course, uh, but a nice firm frame working, uh, then this one is an easy upgrade where it's not just one person going forward, we can mix it up. You can get two on one side and two on the next, get a bit of variety and then drop the appropriate hand to go into whatever follows you want to come out with. So followers, all of these shoulder to shoulder moves, whether we are being sent backwards or being encouraged forwards into them is still following our uh, sort of step, rock, slow, step, rock, slow, or step, rock, side pattern, just one foot after the other. So we should never be in doubt as to which foot we're going on. The only information that we need is which direction the leader wants us to go in. And as Ian said, we've got a big neon sign if they don't perform that quarter turn to get between them. That is our heads up that we are about to switch. So if Ian hasn't told me which one he is going to do, but I know which foot I'm ready on. So that one. Yep. We are ready to go and he's been going backwards, sending me forwards. He's performed the quarter turn on that one, so I know to keep on going with what I'm doing, but now it's gone and I'm ready to go backwards instead. So we're looking for that change in the norm to let us know when that change of direction is coming. The footwork should all be just nice and consistent, just step, rock, slow, step, rock, slow. And we've got good communication between our frame. We're both gearing off of each other. No need for any heavy handedness leaders. But followers, we need to be keeping our spider senses on to let us know what's going on. There you have it, two nice easy conversions from your basic moves in cha-cha into rumba with a few ideas on how to spice them up as well. Nice and simple ideas so you can keep dressing them up if you like, but if you've never come across those before or if you are new to Latin, you can give them a go and it just goes to show that if you keep up the rhythm and you make your clear signals, your ideas nice and clear for your follower, then you can make almost anything happen. So get up onto the social floor, try your cha-cha out, try your rumba out, try spicing up some of the moves that you have been doing since you started. And if you are just starting out, don't get too dogmatic about your basic figures. Just have some fun and try out anything. You'll be surprised what works when you just give it a go and have fun. Until we do see you again, keep dancing. Let us know what you would like us to blitz. Throw us a comment, we love that. But for now, keep dancing and we will see you next time. Well, that's it for this Blitz, boys and girls. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time.